Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, my buddies at Fast Track Tennis is maybe going to give us a fast track lesson. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so my buddies at Fast Track Tennis said, we got a gadget, ball machine, kind of a silent partner, not a wall, but the ball constantly will come back to you. You'll never lose a ball. You'll be hitting until you're tired. And I'm like, okay, send it over. So here I am. I got my fast track tennis. I'm going to go over to the court and set it up. I've invited my buddy, Sean, who is basically a ball machine himself. He will literally keep the ball going forever. All right, so I got to pick my spot over here. Technically, I don't need to do it on a, on a tennis court, but since we're out here and since we're going to hit some balls later, might as well test it out with him. So I'm going to go right here with it um, since we got a nice fence back there, just in case I screw it up. Sean won't screw it up. All right, so we're going to set it up. I'll see you in a minute. Sean. How are you doing, Harry? Buddy. Yes. I got something for you. Oh, I'm excited. You know, when, when the guys at Fast Track Tennis here um, said, hey, do you want to try out our contraption? Uh -huh. I'm like, I looked at the video, I looked at the machine, and I'm like, I think Sean would be the perfect candidate for uh, this kind of a ball machine, ball retriever. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to actually, the reason why I was thinking about you yeah. was because you're not one to warm up during a match. You know, you come in a little late, you know, <laughs> no person, nothing personal. I get you, right? So you don't really have time to warm up. You warm up during the match and you wind up having dirty ball rallies a lot. You know what I'm saying? That sounds so, pretty accurate, <laughs> I would say. So, but, but that's how you like to warm up, though. Mm -hmm. You like to grind and warm up your shots while wearing out the other person. Mm -hmm. So I got a contraption that won't wear out. Interesting. Not like your opponent. So you're going to be the one that might be worn out at the end of the day. Okay. So let's take a look at this machine Sounds over here. Sounds good. So it's made by Fast Track Tennis. Okay. We set this thing up with the net. We got the targets over here. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at a court, down the middles right here. Mm -hmm. Cross court's there since you're a righty. Mm -hmm. Down the line is right there. Mm -hmm. The balls are fed into this tube mm -hmm. and it will constantly hand feed you a ball. Okay. As long as you hit into this net, it will constantly keep coming. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your rallies. <laughs> <laughs> until the other person says no more no more okay so easy simple probably want to start with four hands down the middle and then maybe cross court okay and then end with here maybe want to do some backhands the same way but i haven't tried this yet but i figure you would be the perfect person to give it the first shot well, okay. thank you for thinking of me. Let's take it for, <laughs> let's take it for a spin. All right, so let's turn it on and get it going. Okay, count how many I get on the... All right, let's go cross court now. There you go, bullseye. 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 Let's try some backhands there, Sean. There we go. I love the backhand. Let's go. Bullseye. 
Bullseye. Bullseye. This is where you had a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, your turn. <laughs> okay. Actually, since you're warmed up, yeah. since you're warmed up. No, I, I'm officially warmed up. <laughs> Ready to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it um, a little harder for you. Okay. Just a little. Just a little. So put one racket here. Yeah. And one racket here. Okay. So you hit the ball, you back up, you go around the thing, yep. you come back, yeah. and then you strike the next ball, okay. and then you do the same. Okay. Okay. And then do you want so, me to alternate forehand and backhand then? So hit a forehand and go this way, hit a backhand and go this way? Sure. Is that yeah. Way think Let's about do it? that. Yeah. We yeah, alternate yeah. strokes every single sure. time. Sure. Here we go. Sean's in shape. All right, that's good. I don't want you to hurt yourself. <laughs> oh. Woo oh, Harry. I'm tired watching them. Harry, you're right. This wears you out. I'm tired watching you. <laughs> All right, so the man, the myth, the guy that wears the other person out was worn out by this little thing um how you feeling man yeah hey not gonna lie it was, it was quite the workout <laughs> uh but no thank you for having me it was what, what a great experience right so what did what did you think of our fast track tennis thing here yeah at a high level i think there were uh, three things that really stood out to me first of all the repetition was was extremely helpful getting the consistent ball every single time um really helped you kind of get into the rhythm the second thing was the targets. Having the visual targets is really helpful as you kind of try to hone in on the right kind of average rally shot, um, whether it's a ground circle, whether it's a volley. So that was extremely helpful. The last thing is the fitness level. I think when you start a match, you really want to have high fitness level going into that match. And so the drill that you put together at the very end where I'm rotating around, rotating around the rackets really helped get my heartbeat racing, as you can tell from, <laughs> from the video, and um, kind of got me ready to go. So long story short, if, this, if I had this contraption growing up, I would have warmed up a lot more before matches. Right. So thanks, Harry. <laughs> So would, I, I say this works for beginners, and like basically works for everybody, right? I think so. I mean, the, 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 the range of it's quite large, so I think it's a pretty nice um, area for you to kind of hit your targets. Mm -hmm. um, I would say make sure you stretch before you use a product <laughs> like this. Make sure you're ready to go, but um, I think it's for, all, for kind of all ages and, and for, um, for all levels as well. Right, definitely. I mean, I, I, we, we're on a tennis court right now, we don't really need to be with this thing. Mm -hmm. um, as long as you have a space that's large enough to hold it, like a garage or backyard, front yard, sidewalk, whatever, you know, you don't need a whole lot of room to make it work for you. And it's portable, mm -hmm. right? You don't have to keep it like this. You can fold it up and bring it to where you need to go. You can do it at the park if you want to. Uh, but that's a, Harry, that's a really good point. I, I know my parents would really appreciate me not hitting the tennis ball on the walls of my bedroom. So <laughs> this would be a nice contraption to kind of spare my walls and also spare my family a lot of, uh, t uh, a lot of noise from me kind of balling <laughs> on my tennis wall growing up. I can imagine. I, hit a, I, I broke a lot of drywall in my time oh. too. <laughs> so, so I know exactly what you're talking about. If they had this in my time, 
I might have been a better tennis player. <laughs> Harry, you're a great <laughs> tennis player, okay? <laughs> All right, so Sean, hey, I'm glad you got, got to try this with me. Uh, you, know, you think I should try this thing? I think it's your turn. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Right target. Bullseye. Bullseye. <laughs> Three in a row, on fire. All right, so here's one quick thing that I just learned hitting on that thing. I'm not gonna run around the thing like you because I might just drop, drop dead here. Uh, <laughs> so um, I noticed you can actually do patterns and you go three mm -hmm. to the four, yeah. and three across court, and then shoot that down the line for the winner, hopefully. Yeah. And then if that doesn't work, go back three this way, mm -hmm. and then go back that way. Mm -hmm. Or backhand side, go three that way, and go one down the line. Mm -hmm. So this actually can, you can practice your patterns. Absolutely. Yeah, even um, I think uh, my goal is to hit each every target at least five times. And so mm -hmm. once you hit a target five times, you move on to the next target as well. So you're right, patterns, but also frequency. Right. As well. Totally. And I was surprised at how often I actually hit a target. You did a great job, Harry. <laughs> so I definitely recommend this thing. I definitely recommend this thing. Um, if you're new to tennis and you need like somebody to play with, hey, right there. Never going to get tired. You're not going to hit it over the wall and then got to retrieve it. If you get a ball machine, you don't have to pick up the balls. It's going to keep coming at you as long as you keep hitting the net, right? My buddy, Sean, right? He can be on this for hours, literally. So until he has to eat or something, you know? So Sean, my boy, thank you so hey, much. Thank you for having me. Oh my God, this was so fun. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Rob, I feel like I'm, lost on the court. I'm just hitting mindless tennis. Understandable. I've seen it. You hit. <laughs> <laughs> you need a plan, Harry. You need a, you, Every shot has to have a purpose. We've got a singles playbook there today. Are we going to run into these plays with your singles players? Absolutely. We got the diagrams. We got, we got it all right here. All right. Step by step. Step by step. How to beat a southpaw. How to beat a pusher. It's all in here. We're going to definitely see a pusher today. And then for the doubles players, we're going to see and get the highest potential, run some plays that will basically be hopefully unstoppable on the court today. Step-by-step -step instructions from fuzzy yellow balls, QR code. You can watch the action on a video. So the playbook is here. Get yours today at Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Click on the link below. Check it out.